since you know this tour and you're introducing the fusion of two bands, do you see the Unesh Mona Moore project expanding in the future? And, and what kind of plans do you guys have for that? It's, uh, we're definitely writing on a new record that's uh, composed but not produced to the final state, but it will be out hopefully in next year, early year, spring of next year. It's, it's not two bands, it's not a fusion of two bands, I would not say so. No, it's just for life, but I mean, on the other end, it's interesting to have like Günther Schultz playing like, uh, that's know, playing guitar with Mono Moon and Ash songs. Uh, and that's the other people. Here is it's now two guitars on these songs, yeah. that's really massive. Well, I realized they're two separate projects. What I meant by that was merely the, the tour itself. Oh, when okay. you guys playing, okay. you know, the fusion. Yeah, and then okay, sorry. No, it's okay. It's and it's too strict. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. I just, uh, I find it, you know, very fascinating. You know, it's, it's good to have, you know, partners that you can, you know, you can cross over different musical planes with, you know, like, uh, you know, I guess, so do you, do you still do work with Take Face as well? Well, I mean, on the last record, on the record before, so, um, I don't talk to Martin right now, but I mean, I'm willing to do some more work, you know, if uh, our relationship is correct, you know, I don't know, we don't talk too often. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is that more like a fun side project? He does his own thing, so yeah, I had to go to, I don't know, tour with Big Face and do the records. Very interesting. Um, no, I gotta ask, uh, I wanna go back to the Success album for a minute. Do you got, like, every album you guys put out, you have uh, a remix album. Do you guys have any plans for that? Coming up on after this album? Yeah. You know, I think uh, I did enough remix contests and remix albums that uh, there might be some remixes, but it will be, be more selective or whatever from special friends or something. But I mean, I don't think, I don't see myself uh, putting out another remix album right now. So. And a lot of bands do it too, so no, so the, the fun is a lot of that remix thing. Oh, exactly. Too many people doing the same thing. I know this might be kind of a cliche question, but I have to ask it anyway, and I'm going to ask both of you, is that what what originally inspired you guys to get into music? I don't I mean, what inspired me to become a musician? Yeah, yeah. I know, I'm, I'm just curious for my, my own. Sure, sure. I, it, it doesn't happen, uh, it's not a decision you make, it's more like, uh, it, it just happens. Uh, just kind of fell in. I was interested in music, I was strumming on a table as a kid, uh, I got my schoolmates together to do a school band. Uh, same old story. So. I had my first band at 14. So. Yeah. Wow. Same with me. I started as a small kid making little recordings with the old tape machines at six, eight, at the age of six or something. And and playing much. accordion and piano and singing. And yeah, you, you were born like this. So you were born with it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess what another thing I want to ask you guys about is like with the changing musical landscape, you know, with the with the rise of the internet, it's really crushed a lot of the music scene. You know, it's made it very difficult for bands to prosper and thrive. You know. um, it, how have you used that to your advantage? You know, along these tours. Well, you know, everybody can use it to, to their advantage by doing promotion over the internet, introducing their music through the internet. On the other hand, you don't have, uh, if you're like kind of middle known, like on a middle ground like us, uh, it is a little hard to stay alive. You know, if the music is basically, you cannot sell your music anymore. It's just, you know, the only people who buy your CDs and all are people who actually are uh, really hardcore fans, the one the hardcore fans. Yeah. Uh, other people. But it's really good to be known that much in a way, but you don't get the, the real met materialistic from it. Yeah. More the uh, uh, idealistic. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm one of those people. I gotta have a CD in my hand. If I really like it, I want it. Just one question. Sure. Go ahead. I work with a lot of metal bands, and they say in Germany and Europe, especially, it's a, their mom and pop small stores are still around, and people actually do buy CDs. It's very common, and it's not as much electronic downloads as it is in America. Yeah. Is that true or not? Yeah, I think so. But you have to really 100% fit into a genre. Yeah. There is a very true metal community. I think yeah. they buy everything. No matter what it is, it's released. So it's more metal. It, but it, it has to fit in this draw. If, uh, as, as soon so as you do something music. more artistic, more Different. specific, more unique, uh, uh, you have a harder time, actually. So that's like the mainstream there. 
like the mainstream. A little bit, yeah. I think these and, drums and your, have oh, developed and you got to fit in there. Uh -huh. And if not, you have to, to really uh, find other ways to survive as a musician. I do contract work for computer games, for instance. This is what I mainly do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we, we collaborate on this too. Maybe we should this mention is fascinating. Yeah, there's a big release coming up. Maybe this is interesting. It's uh, Kane and Lynch too. Really? It's, I think a, you it's a huge it. release international by Eidos Square Enix. <laughs> it's going to be out at the end of August what on all platforms. On all platforms? On all and what's that called Xbox. again? Xbox. It's Kane and Lynch. It's wow. by the guys who did Hitman. Oh. You maybe okay, maybe yeah, you yeah. know Hitman. Yeah. It's IO Interactive in Copenhagen, and they have the second brand, Kane and Lynch. The first part sold like two million. And so Mona wow. was the sound designer for that. That's right. So is there slick idea music out there? Is there slick idea music out there? No, it's, it's not yeah. operating with a normal kind of music. Oh, it's oh. more something between soundscapes and music. Oh, that's really interesting. What we collaborate on, on this soundtrack too. Yeah. I, I do collaborate yeah. a little bit. Uh, doing like all the environments and the backgrounds. Is that essentially? No, it's the, that is the music of Kane and Lynch 2 is different than the music in other computer games. It's you gotta check that out. Check it out. I can't wait to check it out. If you go on kaneandlynch.com, you will see a feature. Oh, you're on Kane and Lynch? Kane and Lynch. Oh, God. He probably got it. Oh, he will. No, I'm busy watching the video to make sure. No, that's an awesome game. They're writing music for Yeah, if you check it out. I already played it. She's programmed it. I did the music for it. Oh, dude, it's such a great game. He's a gamer. It will be oh, out. It's gonna be awesome. awesome. Yeah. It will be awesome. They did it for part two. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It's that one just. That one didn't August. come out yet, right? Forty seven August. Okay. August. So they have August cast in the game. Practice. I played the first one. Big fan of the first one. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, the, yeah. Second, the, second, one, the second one will be much better. Okay, we need to wrap this up. Zine's got to get on stage in about five minutes. Oh. Yeah. Ten minutes. Oh. And uh, oh. we're gonna wrap it up. Take a quick picture. If you find a gamer among the people that need it, that's a gamer. We have right there. I guess the last thing I want to just ask you. I've beaten seven video games in the last three days. <laughs> you are our man. I have two bands that went on Sony PlayStation, but that's this is interesting. Daniel Lynch is PS3 man. The only thing, the last thing I want to ask you guys is, uh, where can the people that are viewing this, where can they see you guys on tour coming up? Couple. Like, uh, I know you guys are playing at uh, Don Hills in New York tomorrow. Is there? Uh, yeah, we're going to take our trip further up on the East Coast and we're going to play Midwest, Chicago, Indianapolis, uh, Kansas. Uh, after that, we're going to the West Coast, uh, we're going to do Seattle, LA, so doing the whole San Francisco, the whole nine yards. And we, we started out in Las Vegas and we want to end up in Las Vegas again. Gotcha. But so we, we basically play everywhere in the country. So, so when can our fans out in the Midwest be uh, seeing you guys next time? Uh, maybe uh, maybe say, we tell them the web address where they can find yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, go like MySpace slash uh, MySpace.com slash Slickidiot or Slickidiot.com yeah. you know, for any further info. Or well, Mona Moore and Ish. Yeah, MySpace and you guys slash Mona at home, Ish. if you type in Slickidiot anywhere, you're going to find these guys. You're going to find everything all about them. Go check them out. Uh, excellent band, Slickidiot. Excellent band. Mona Moore and Nash. Come check them out. You'll be able to see this video on all the different networks and as well. And make sure that you guys get a copy of it before you leave tonight. Sweet. This is Phil, okay. Philly 191, and we're signing off. Have a good night. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>